And now we are going to start with the last activity that this is not going to be a class activity. It's going to be a group activity. So you can work in pairs. Pueden seguir trabajando de dos o si no, unirse con otro grupo de dos. So you form a group of four. Pueden formar grupos de cuatro o si no, siguen de dos. So you are going to make guesses about not people in your class, about famous people. Famous people. Could be singers, uh, actors, or artists. So you write your guesses. Complete these sentences with your guesses. For example, you can say Will Smith had his or her, sería. Aha, uh -huh, his. Entonces, tacho el hair. Had his hair permed in the past year. So this is my guess. Es mi suposición. Ojo, no necesariamente tiene que ser correcta la suposición que hagan aquí. About famous people. Famous people. So when you finish this, writing all your names, you are going to write questions in a piece of paper. You are going to write eight questions from number one until number eight. ¿Qué va a venir en su pregunta? Por ejemplo, number one, use this. Have you had your hair perm the past year? Ahora, esta pregunta es directo con you, pero nosotros sobre quién estamos haciendo sobre Will Smith. Entonces sería, has Will Smith had, seguimos con el verbo en participio, your hair, no, sería his hair, ¿no? porque es Will Smith. His hair permed in the past year. Tiene que copiar todo esto. La pregunta se basa en esto. Entonces ustedes responden, yes, he has, o no, he has. Entonces, ¿ustedes qué creen? ¿Se hace la permanente? Bueno, yo creo que no. Entonces respondemos, no, he hasn't. ¿Por qué hasn't? Porque es el, el auxiliar que se utiliza para preguntas de present perfect. Okay, no, he hasn't. 